we have learned different techniques to insert the components now let's see how we can edit these components if we move our mouse to the component and right click on the component you can see the different editing tools appear on the component just like we have done on the wires from here you can see we can edit the component delete the component surfer we will talk about it later retake or update the component copy component scoot and this is a quick tool we can deal with that so first let's suppose edit the component it is the editing dialog box we can change the component tag we can do many things on this dialog box like we can uh, add the description and so on i'm not going in detail we can uh, copy this component just uh, click on the component copy and wherever you want to copy that component just click there and you can see the component tag will automatically be updated pb2 so similarly we can copy these components we can scoot the component we can move the component on the wire so these are some of the tools we can move the component if you want to move it you can see what will happen it will automatically adjust itself from the wires so it will not break the wires if we move the component over the wire similarly move to the three phase component and see let's see how it will behave like on their tools if i want to select all three phases or all the three component phases component and right click on the component you will see we will move to another window another dialog box that are not related to editing we can we can even move the component if you want to move the component let's see what will happen move specify the base point let's suppose i want to move it like in that way see it will break the wire so in this way we cannot move the component just like that but if you move your mouse on the upper wire or any of the another wire you will see you can edit these attributes we can edit the component we can move the component and copy even copy the component if you want to copy the component as you can see this is whole or three phase component but if you want to copy the component only the first portion only the first part will be copied similarly we will have to copy the other sections just like that way but uh, copying the other components we will have to assign the parent we will have to click on the parent and sibling because it is this is a sibling and that is the parent so we will have to select that one you will see it uh, a tag will automatically be updated to cv4 so click ok and again i want to copy that component place it right here you can see its tag name is now cv1 if i click on the parent and i select or pick that one you will see its tag will be changed so in this way we can copy this uh, three phase components in this way to move the component if i want to move the component from here i have selected the move component you can see there this is the editing component panel so we can edit the component from here just like you can see these are there is a scoot we can scoot the component and we can align the component i will select the that one select objects which should be aligned to that one so in this way we can align the component and another option is move component if i want to move that component you will see the other components will remain as it is at their own place so i want to move that component also move again so moving the component is uh, actually like it will not break the wire you can see the wire will automatically be updated and the component will be automatically inserted at new position now let's insert 
two push buttons here i want to insert push button here and here click ok now i want to connect these two components i have already into the components and i will select its terminal and you will see it will be automatically shown like green green color so i can enter that one so these components will be automatically in connected using wire then we can adjust these component you can see that the wire is not in proper direction so we can adjust these component using move command or scoot we can move the component to that position the wire is broken so we will have to we can adjust these uh, components using wires similarly if you want to move the three phase motor let's see what will happen i want to first scoot the component select component wire or wire number for scoot so i can apply the scoot command on component wire or wire number so it is my component i want to scoot that component you can see it will be, and the wires will also move with the component so now insert the move component let's suppose what will happen i want to move it here you can see the wires will not move with that component so we cannot use the move command for these motors or for the loads like in the, that way so we cannot use the move command we can reverse or flip component how we can reverse or flip component you can see uh, I, if i have selected the reverse let's see what will happen i have to enter uh, actually another it will not uh, working on that component let's flip that component if i want to flip that component you will see it will be going downward so we can insert that in any direction let's suppose uh, if we have in vertical direction we can flip towards the left or right but it is in horizontal direction we can flip it horizontally you can see it, uh, it will flip again i want to flip the graphic only mean only that the the two connections the two wires will be flipped together while the tag will remain at it at its own position it will not be uh, flipped so in that way we can insert the flip command stretch plc and uh, similarly as we have entered the co uh, component copy component we can only we can simply copy that component in multiple locations now if you want to delete the component let's see i want to delete that component click enter it asked me to this parent device was detected deleted do you want to search for and serve to its child component contacts if any no i have no child components i have not selected any child component to this component or to this uh, parent device so i have to, here i will have to enter no if i have any enter any of the child component then i will have to enter the ok button let's see how it will work on three phase i want to delete this one so i have to select objects so deleting three phase component there are few methods to delete this component let's suppose i want to delete first this one click enter you will see this window appear the parent device was deleted but you can see it has two child devices to two child components so i will have to enter ok and uh, click ok you can see it uh, it has two normally open contacts it has two normally open contacts so i will have to click on anyone go to you can see it have select it has selected so here i will have to delete that component which is selected so that is selected enter ok you can see that one is deleted now that one which is at lower wire is not deleted so i will have to delete that component also you can see that component is deleted now another way to delete the component is just click all these three components and click ok so it is the fastest way to 
to delete these components if you are if you delete the component and you have any child device of that component then it will affect your drawing if you delete that component you will have to delete the child components also